Hey guys, Evan Bruni here with Shooting Illustrated and welcome to a new episode of iCarry. Today we're building a kit around the tried and true Smith & Wesson Model 642 revolver. When it comes to concealed carry guns, it doesn't get much more classic than the time-tested Smith & Wesson J-Frame lineup, and the Model 642 is no exception. This particular gun debuted in 1995 as the aluminum-framed airweight sibling of the company's steel-framed Model 640. As such, this wheel gun weighs in at a scant 15 ounces and is rated for 38 Special Plus P loads. However, as our clued-in viewers might have already noticed, this isn't your run-of-the-mill Model 642. The Smith & Wesson Performance Center released this enhanced action variant of the design, featuring a worked-over trigger that smooths the double-action-only design. The pistol also features attractive, comfortable wood stocks that offer a secure firing grip without compromising concealability. I chose to carry the Model 642 inside the waistband, so I turned to Blackhawk and the company's new line of leather holsters. Generally speaking, Blackhawk holsters have always tended toward the tactical, offering holsters made from polymer, nylon, and other cutting-edge materials. In 2018, the company's all-new line of premium leather holsters was introduced, offering a more traditional option, which is perfect for this undeniably traditional, yet eminently effective concealed carry gun. The holsters are all made in Italy and include an adjustable tension screw that enables wearers to fine-tune the holster's friction retention. The holster attaches with a metal belt clip and has a reinforced mouth that aids in reholstering, as well as a sweat guard that keeps the gun away from the wearer's body. Remember those classic Maglite flashlights? You know, the ones that weighed a ton and could double as a bludgeon? Yeah, the company's come away since then and now offers carry-sized lights in the form of its MagTac, Maglite's first ever CR123A powered light. This new design features the easily operated tail cap switch and operates with three modes, momentary on, full power, and strobe. At its maximum output, the light will flood any area with a respectable 320 lumens and runs for an impressive four hours. Designed with compact, discreet carry in mind, the Buck Alumni Knife features a short blade measuring just under two inches long, making it legal to carry in many jurisdictions. The folding blade is secured into place with the lockback mechanism, and the anodized aluminum handle can be had in black, blue, gold, and gray colors. Consumers can also order the alumni with a personalized inscription engraved into the handle for a small added fee. If you're more of a traditionalist, the kind of guy or gal who prefers a tried and true wheel gun like the Model 642, chances are you might be a traditionalist in other ways. Maybe you prefer a mechanical watch instead of checking your smartphone screen all the time. If so, the Outdoor Edge Paraclaw CQD watch is a neat option with a few built-in surprises. The strap is made from durable 550 paracord, incredibly useful in emergency scenarios. Also found on the watch buckle is a small paraclaw blade that can be used for utility or personal defense in a pinch. This carry-ready setup for the Smith & Wesson Model 642 revolver is one of countless gun and gear combinations available today. For more information on the products shown here, visit shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more episodes of iCarry.